Welcome back, everybody, to Mega Man 3, Buster Only, No Death Run, and we're going to be tackling on Brickman, who is disguised, and he's actually Proto Man, but whatever. And then we're going to move on to, hopefully, the easier Wily Castle of the entire series. But first, we got to just beat this little punk here. He's really not that hard. You just want to slide under him on his second jump. And this is really all he does. I mean, it's just as easy as all of his incarnations in the actual levels themselves, the ones that he appears in anyway. And you just follow this pattern to a T. Oh, you little punk. You just had to get a cheap shot in, didn't you? <laughs> Alright. Oh, actual story now. Oh no, right after we received the last element. Wily ran off with Gamma. I think this is the first one in the series that actually had some sort of text, some sort of actual story progression in the game itself, not something that you would have to read in the instruction manual to actually know what the heck's going on. And then we have a Wily Castle, which not only are the actual stage previews not indicative of the actual stage structure itself, but the actual song doesn't even finish before you go right into the stage, so a little bit of cut content there. So the first stage is really nothing home to write about, I'm not expecting any problems here. Got a couple of these little top rip producing enemies and an extra life, very nice. On the whole, they are very generous in this particular Wily Castle. There's a lot of energy tanks just out in the open for you to take, you don't even have to use weapons or Robot Masters weapons to even get at any of them. So it's just odd the fact that based on the last four levels, you'd think the Wily Castle would be brutally hard because getting through the revisited stages was torture, but no, it's like the rest of the game pretty much gives you a free pass to the ending. And although there's a nice E-Tank I can get, it does require a Robot Master weapon, so I'm not going to grab that one. I'm only going to grab it if it requires, you know, Rush or the Pelic, you know, the Busters. And a very easy to dodge Hammer Joe, and this pattern of Hammer Joes continues. It's only the last one that's actually any remotely difficult or tricky to reach. Even then, he's very skippable. You just use the Rush Jet and get up over and around him. I guess it would be harder to get around him with the Rush Jet if it was the Mega Man 4 or later incarnation of the actual jet. Gotta have a little bit of a Yoku Block segment, but thankfully it's easy. You can skip over half of it. See? There you go. Done. Not that hard at all. And that's it! We are, we are at the boss! This was an extremely short stage, and this is actually true for all Wily stages in Mega Man 3. They're extremely short, and the bosses are fairly easy to complete. Here, the actual machine itself is invulnerable. You just have to shoot the turtles. And there are three shots apiece, and you only have to kill five of them. Of course, they get faster for every time they shoot out another one, but it's really not that hard of a boss. And they rebound off the walls in predictable vectors. That's it! Wow! Yeah, no outtakes on this one. That was my first try. So, looking forward to the next stage, which we'll get a little preview of. Straight up, which I guess is half the level. And we'll see you all in the next video. This was no trouble at all. I don't expect this Wily Castle to give me issues. <laughs> looking forward to cruising through the rest. See you later.